Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a real quick video about one of my favorite collections and this is not a Disney collection. This is my Lou Ray Pastels dish collection. So how I got started collecting Lou Ray Pastels was I started um, buying myself Fiestaware and I think I started with four place settings and then I joined a couple of groups on Facebook. Um, and a lot of them would post stories of how they found things out in the wild. And by out in the wild, they mean how they found things at Goodwill or Savers or any other kind of antique or secondhand store. So I started going into all the secondhand stores and I kind of got obsessed about it. Like I was in there all the time just searching for any kind of um, fiesta wear. And so I was fortunate and I did find um, some fiesta wear cups. I found fiesta, a couple of fiesta wear um, dishes. I also did some um, buying on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, anyway, on one of my trips to Goodwill, I think it was Goodwill, I saw this. And so I picked it up. And when I picked it up, I picked it up like this. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. And I looked underneath it and I saw that it said Lou Ray Pastels. It actually says TSA, TS, the N sign T. That stands for, I wrote it down. Taylor, Smith and Taylor. And then I saw the little Blu-ray pastels and there's a date here. It says 1150. Found out that that means it was made in 1950. So um, I just did a little re little bit of research and then I saw, I think there are only like four YouTube videos about Blu-ray pastel dishes. And so I watched those videos and I saw what was out there and I was really sold on the dishes. So, um, it started with this and then I started looking online and I live in Hawaii so it's kind of, I think if you live on the mainland especially if you live on the East Coast you have such a bigger um, pond to fish in is what I'm trying to say here there's not I mean like you know what are the chances that the population of Hawaii someone was gonna have Lou Ray pastel dishes but I looked anyway, I looked on Facebook Marketplace, and then I saw there was an antique store in downtown Honolulu, and the gal that owned it was advertising some Lou Ray Pastel dishes. She had a set of four teacups and saucers, four, I guess you would call them bread plates, four dinner plates. Yeah, and it was only like $60. Um, and four dessert bowls. So I'll show you what they look like. So these are the plates. And this color is, let me see what, I just call it yellow, but apparently it's called Persian cream. This green color I think is called surf green. Isn't it pretty? This is Sharon Pink. And this is Windsor Blue. This blue is really pretty. So let's see, this one was made in 1955. So they all are stamped with a date. Sometimes you can't read it. And I also got the plates. So the little, I guess, dessert plates or bread plates. It also came with four bowls in all the colors. So I have one each of every color. And it came with a pretty teacup and saucer. This one was made in 55 as well. Okay. So I just kind of fell in love with it and I was really fortunate that for some reason Someone was getting rid of their Lou Ray pastel dishes and I was able to get it. And then I went online and I ended up getting 
They're both pink, but it's okay. Salt and pepper shakers. Little corks in the bottom of them. And then I was able to get this platter. This platter was also made in hmm, 1955. 55 must have been a good year. And I got this bowl. It doesn't say. So I also got this bowl. So like a salad bowl or something you would put your family meals in. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. These were all on display. I haven't used them. They've all been for display in my china cabinet. Or it's more like a curio cabinet. But ever since my Disney figurine uh, collection blew up, these came out. Before they were kind of situated with the figurines. But then I had to take these out because I have too much um, Disney figurines. And I feel really guilty that these are now in a box. They are um, wrapped up with paper and they're in a box. So eventually I wanna bring these out. So what I am doing, well, I wanna bring them out and I wanna use them. But I don't wanna use them every day because you know, we have young adults in the house and I can be clumsy and we have a baby in the house. So um, I just don't want anything to happen to my dishes, but I do wanna use them. I do want to use them. Um, where was, I, where was I going with this? So what I'm doing now is because I think I mentioned in past videos that I'm purging. And one of the things I feel guilty about is having so much stuff that the stuff that I love and that's precious to me, and it's not precious to me, life is precious to me, but you know what I mean. Stuff that I love and I love looking at and having is stuck in a box in my closet. So, I'm going to continue to purge out my um, my dishes. I only have one small uh, cabinet that I have all my dishware in. So, I'm going to continue to clean that out, get rid of the things that I don't need, give it to Goodwill. I also joined this Facebook group called Buy Nothing um, Oahu. And so, it's a... It's a Facebook group where you don't sell your items you give them away and so people list things for you or people list things all the time and if you want it you just have to say you want it and um, hope they pick you something like that they kind of pick you um, so anyway I'm gonna get started on that effort of getting rid of things that I don't use I have a bunch of these I collected Ray Dunn. Ray Dunn. You can pick up Ray Dunn dishware at TJ Maxx, Home Goods, and I forget the other store. But you know, they're all owned by the same folks. And I went crazy for their dishware. This one says Aloha. That's backwards, but it does say Aloha. It's green on the inside. But most of the cups look like this. And they're just white and white on the inside. I got something in there. And I've got oodles and oodles and oodles of this. But my daughter did tell me she loves Ray Dunn as well. She wants me to keep these for her. So I am. But she lives in Washington. So she needs to come down here every other month or so once this whole COVID crapola is finished with. And come and pick up her stuff because I'm saving it for her. Because I, my time in my life, I'm 53. My husband and I are thinking of downsizing way down. We're in a three bedroom apartment right now. Um, his youngest daughter and grandchild and her boyfriend stay with us part of the week and part of the week they stay at his family's house. But we, so we have a three bedroom, but we are thinking of downsizing majorly possibly into a um, studio just to save money uh, we really feel like we don't know what's happening in the world we don't know what's going to happen like the more money we can save the better and so we're thinking of downsizing to maybe a studio 
So I'm really going to have to only keep the things that I use and love. So anyway, I just wanted to show you my Blu-ray collection. You don't only have to collect Disney. <gasps> Can't believe I said that. But um, I also like to collect dishes. So I hope you guys are all having a fabulous Friday. You guys take care. And I'll talk to you soon. Aloha.